Oh, well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about the last little bit of interruption there. Uh, it turns out this is actually, indeed, the next day. Simply because of how things unfolded. And, uh, well, as I say, I've still got the long clip to go for. And, oh, fuck, there's <coughs> oh, boy, quite the lot of Monkey Manus 2. Yeah, certainly they're not joking around when they say Grandmaster Quests are quite the... Quite the long endeavour and that you're on. Certainly, the difficulty is also quite up there, too. Oh boy, yeah, this is currently indeed the glow and mutagen a la not Zilra and oh fuck. Oh uh, boy. I gotta say though, just as a little kind of fun thing is to, you know, it's interesting thinking obviously way back to. G Neo 65 days way back in 2008 and that. Yeah, I heard of Monkey Manus, I wanted to do it, but no. Nah. First off, I was nowhere near at its quest and even get close to it, and two, even if I could. Yeah, it's just the fact that level 100, some 90 jungle, 200 plus jungle demon is just far too daunting for my very much skitty kind of, you know. You have to understand, before even done, start a proper bossing, you know, Dino Kings, courtesy of High Pixie slash Nice Love, I was just not, you know, not the same kind of bravado PVMs I am now. Also, yeah, indeed, if you've seen that correctly, that is indeed an Onyx Gem. Though, fortunately, you can't sell it. That would be a very nice 2 mil profit if you could do just do it right there. No, instead of just tamper with it. Ah, uh, that is... Mighty unfortunate. Uh, but damn. But yeah, so essentially this is coming up to the end of the third one, just you know, messing around with the mutagen formula and I believe shortly after this is where the whole invasion of the tortured slash demonic gorillas starts and oh boy it's a bit formal because I do believe I've got a couple months ago I did see someone else doing the Monkey Mouse 2 quest, you know, I was wondering why the fuck you know, a tortured gorilla was outside the, you know, like, the usual caves, and I thought, is that some sort of, I would say, uh, is that some sort of very weird glitch that someone's managed to pull off, getting a tortured gorilla to kind of teleport to them or some shit, but nah, it was just all part of the quest. I can only imagine what it would have, liked, would have looked like on the very first day, you know, in a busy world, just, oh, fuck, imagine that, dozens of them, you know, Jesus Christ, that would be quite the scene indeed. And that, uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. And indeed. Oh, uh, you know, I suppose having said the the usual shenanigans, because I'm actually kind of stuck as to like what to do first after these three Grandmaster Trio quests, you know. But there is one that's obvious in mind, and I suppose everybody ought to know what that is. Yeah, Zora is more more popular uh, quest intensive brother and that, uh, you yeah, know, one being a snake, another being a dragon yes it is my displeasure to say I have killed over 8,000 Zoras no actually almost 8,000 Zoras and not one single fucking Vorkav <laughs> yeah. yep that few I've managed to do. Uh, I've done all sorts of bosses, but <laughs> now my time might finally be arising after having done the Grandmaster Trio. And oh boy, if it's something. Yeah, so I'll leave this falling up. Also, yeah, that's a. I think this is a battle ship now arising. And that. Yeah, that massive shadow. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where it gets quite chaotic indeed. Huh. Primitive apes. Ah, right. There you go, love that though. Eh, uh, well, but yeah, so. While well, that chaos goes on, yeah, I may as well talk about a little bit of the, this relatively newish construction update, yes. And not in the sense of, oh, there's a new rooms, rather, it's a way of. Training it, yes. Introducing mahogany homes. 
yeah, this is the long request that people being able to train, you know, construction in a more traditional way, instead of fucking hammering the same ladder, door, or table for thousands of times, you know. Yeah, you'll be an absolute grandmaster of fucking making the best tables, doors, and, you know, ladders, but is that really construction? You know, whereas this one is a bit more, you get variety in that. I think it's still supposed to be, like, not as good experience, but the catch is, it'll be far more cheaper than that, so... It's like, instead of hammering, say, a thousand things for, like, say, just say 600,000 experience, you can then say instead, maybe craft only, say, a hundred and fifty or so things for about a quarter of that, which doesn't sound as good, but if you're constantly like, doing different things, then the catch is, is that you're, you're, you're getting, you know, like, more experience in terms of your costs, just you have to put in a bit of the effort to get, but you're also getting other rewards as well, you know, like, say you get points doing this, you know, that could be spent in mahogany homes, and, yeah, one of them does include a new fancy, you know, not just outfit, but also a new home and that, oh boy. Also, yes, indeed, this is the moment. This is the moment. Oh, man. Yeah, finally, Niev. Oh, boy. I've got to say, there's a whole contention with regards to the creation of this new Slayer Master and Yev and the whole story behind it with Mod Reach and that, you know. I mean, to be fair, with all the other Mod Reach, you know, like, you can see how that could slip through and now they just, oh, just saw him, someone's called Niev in real life, you know, somebody, you know, like, all these things. The, the Niev part, I'm not sure, maybe that's the game name, possibly, it's... But, yeah, you can see how that reminder of Mod Reach and his uh, controversies would be a bit undesired. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they just decided to make something of an event. And, you know, they did the same thing with the very next quest I'll be doing, but with a more, uh, yeah, probably more iconic character. If a bit more subtle than that. And certainly not one the cat lovers would be pleased to hear about, but alas. Yeah... Uh, I'll be sure to talk about that when it gets to the time, but for now, yes, I suppose that's the thing with Mahogany Homes and, you know, over. also, yeah, indeed, that is the Torture Gorillas. I will be again the weaker ones, and that, yeah, they only do melee and that, they don't do melee and range slash magic and that, you know. But, I mean, to be fair, if they were this easy, it'd be a fucking joke and the reward drop table would be, yeah, it would be worthwhile not making them get anything. Probably... I would say at most maybe a slightly better black doom table, but no. The, Demi the demonic gorillas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the demonic gorillas are where it's truly at, and you know, you'll be seeing them soon enough. And that. I don't believe they're nerfed, unlike the torture gorillas here, and that. I think you only find them in their full form in that. Oh boy. Certainly it is quite the daunting challenge indeed, but for now it's just like piss easy and that. Oh boy. So, I think that's the thing <laughs> in general. It's the fact that with these kind of quests and that, you know, you got to go in with the mentality of, well, it's going to take a bit of time to get through them. And, well, whilst we're on the hunt for the tortured gorillas and that, yes, gorillas indeed. Alright, so, here's another big update that I figured might be of interest. And yes, certainly this is one that's got some of the reward traders in Venezuelans. A bit unhappy about, but it doesn't seem to, like, it's bad that I'm not upset, because this is the thing. Alright, Revenants in a multi-change, but well, hopefully, part. The first part being that they've now been nerfed, like, yeah, the, remember the time they said they were going to, like, buff it, then nerf it, then buff it, then nerf it again, you know, and then finally kind of buff it, but also a big buff, and then they left it at that, just, like, fuck it, you know. Yeah, there was a fight between that, and I'm fairly sure more Jedi had something to do with that, because, you know, yeah, you want to make it fucking worthwhile for your battles and that, eh? Yep, hint, hint, indeed. So, yeah, this has now been, I guess, a finalised nerfed profit hit, you know, so they're 20% less profitable than what they used to be. Not only that, though, but the Ether Brace is no longer able to fully protect you. I think it only does protect 80% of the damage, so you'll still take a fifth of the damage, even with the bracelet. Now, my idea, what I would have done here is, say... Oh, Say you started off, right, no brace at all, of course, 100% of the damage. 
Now, if depending on how many of the diaries you download in this diary, this affects how much damage you take. So, say zero diaries at all, cut the ether, ether bracelet, only 20% damage is done, you know? So it's like, alright, that's pish. You get the easy diary done, you know, it gets another 20% up to, you know, 40%, still not great, but it's alright. Medium diary, you know, not too hard to get either, 60%. And that also fuck off. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck off there, look, it's the recording, jeez, I forgot about this. Yeah, and indeed, right here and that. So, yeah, get back to the point. Now, if you get the hard diet, which is probably where most people are going to have a bit of difficulty with, but, you know, it's not like that hard in the grand scheme of things, you know, it makes you push for it, you know, earn it. Then you get 80%, which is where it's at. So you know that's where the elite is. Not 90%. Full protection. But of course getting the elite world is done means you have to fucking work for it, you know? Yeah, that's the thing. You have to bust your balls for that kind of shit, you know? And I figured that would be a fair way of doing it. You know, it's like, you want to get that full protection or not? Then you earn it. And I'd probably, you could say, if it's too much of a nerve, <laughs> just go back to having the reverence be the normal profitable. So it's only really hard and definitely the elite ones, you know, that would actually be able to get this whole profit thing, you know? And that's still with the P-Cares. It does nothing against P-Cares. It's just, you have to really be proven to have done all the things that, you know, the world is to really end the best money maker, so to speak. I don't think that's fair, but of course that might be a bit weird to code and that, you know, you can imagine, say, I suppose it'll be a simple, you know, works from, you know, say one to, what, like, I don't know how they're doing the mathematics for it, but it'd be easy enough, one to seven, then, you know, times two if it's, you know, hard done, times three if it's medium, times four if it's easy, and then times five if there's no ether protection. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times four if it's easy, and then times five if you don't wear any protection. And that, so. Yeah, it should be fun to hear how it goes, although I do hear it's not made as much of an impact as some were hoping. Like, a lot of the words are still quite protected, and now they're just having to offer a bit of a discount, and. Yeah, indeed. So you'll see here, yeah, now they're starting to get the proper forms and that you see they're protecting, you know, like doing mage and range attacks. You know, obviously being a melee warrior, I choose mage and that so I don't get fucking tanked and that, you know, they'll still, still get some damage, but alas, that is it. And as you see here, yeah, indeed Niev yeah, has a weird pathing issue and that. Eh, yeah, well, Find that indeed, and yeah, as I say, certainly with the gear I've got here, you can see what I'm aiming for a mixture of melee and ranged gear. And that, well, yes, indeed, the twisted bow, you know, which was kind of useful, question mark. Yeah, like I was kind of hoping it would be useful all the way through, but it turned out to not <laughs> really be that. Also, yes, indeed, that very familiar looking cave that's for. Yeah, he, he fucking, yeah. This is basically where the home of the torture and demonic gorillas will be. And that, uh, it should be fun to eventually, eventually be able to kill them, like, as part of a, you know, hunting kind of session, you know. Much like what I've done for <laughs> the Skeletal Wyverns, Gargoyles, and of course, Brew Black Dragons, and that, so. Fun times, indeed. Oh, what? Yeah, apparently that just decided to cut out and that, you know? That was fun, that. Oh, boy. Gotta love that, though. And yeah, best pets, indeed. Yeah, see that on the left? Yeah, Demont Gorilla. And oh, fuck. Not doing around to that. You know, what I was going to say, just to check the level, Oh no, did that say 141 or was that 171? Yeah, 141, what the fuck? I thought they were like a higher level. And uh, huh. Oh damn. Yeah, indeed. These are a bit of a fucking joke. But, yeah, that is a... Uh, indeed, that's the easy one. And also, yeah, pumped. Bloody hell. Yeah, these demonic girls don't fuck about. And that. Yeah, you see how they have protection prayers? It's like. 
you know, that is indeed a real thing and that in there a bit. Yeah, it's funny, the, the thing with this is that it's probably ideal to not even bother with the protection, you know, like, have a one gear set and just a simple weapon switch because they're going to be constantly switching and it's a bit shit. You see, like, you know, you barely get a break. And it's just like, holy fuck. You know? That's why it's, yeah, a good idea to not have two demonic girls at once, otherwise you are going to get absolutely fucked. Like, even in the actual cave itself, they don't have, what is it? They don't have it multi-combat, because you could fucking imagine, like, multiple demonic gorillas on you at once. No, you would have a very hard time trying to survive. Yeah, no. yeah it's just fucking crazy, that. But, yeah. Certainly, it is indeed quite tough for that, but... You know, I do manage to prevail in the end, even though it was a bit of a long fight, I will say that much on that, but of course, this being the climax of what is the first of three Grandmaster quests, I'm not too surprised on that. A pity they don't drop any loot, because that would have been very good. And that, you know, I would have been glad to get some bank, even if it was not very good one, you know, but, oh, even if it wasn't very good, I think I'd still be happy about it anyhow, but... Alas, uh, I suppose we'll soon see, you know, in the future what this entails, but for now, yeah, this will be sort of Niamh's last hurrah, so to speak, and that's seeing her in action, and, oh boy, yeah, see that Elysian spirit shield, eh? Oh, man, yeah, it's funny, just, you see what's going to be coming ahead, and yeah, it's like, Still intense, nonetheless. Oh boy. I uh, I thought the rock was gonna like deal like massive amount of damage, and I guess it still does, but it's just not super ridiculous. But you can see how I'm pretty much getting pumped, and that you know, just holy fuck. Yeah, see that so quick, so quick, and that. Look at that. Yeah, this is what I mean, like. You kind of have to have two things open at the same time. And, that, and that's a lot more difficult to do when the console is saying the switch. And that, you know. It's like, holy fuck. But, yep, yeah, as I say, it comes down to an end. And now, oh, poison indeed. <laughs> I see that's interesting. They're not venomed, but rather poison, so I guess they're partial immunity. But, yeah. And indeed. This is now the finale coming up. I'll see you then.